Hey guys, Leslie here. Um, first of all, I want to start out with by showing you this fabulous shirt that my friend Lisa got for me. And despite the fact that she has an insanely busy life, coaching, teaching, she has a family, you know, a wife, two kids, um, she still found the time to remember that I love Wonder Woman, probably because I never stopped talking about it, and send me this shirt. You know, lots of people had taken pictures of it and said, oh, I saw this in the store and thought of you, but she actually picked it up and sent it to me. And I think between that and all of the comments and stuff that I've been getting um, from people about how I should tweak things and what I should do differently, um, I, I am just getting clearer and clearer on what leadership means to me. And to me, caring about another person or doing something you love or putting a smile on someone's face, like that's leadership. That's the kind of leadership I'm interested in. And I'm not interested in trying to be the person everybody follows. I don't need everyone to be just like me. I don't want everyone to be just like me. That would be a real boring world. Well, maybe not boring, but it would just be very one thing and not a lot of variety. And I like variety. I like stuff, you know, new things, experiences I haven't tried before. And so um, for me, um, you know, a couple people have asked some great questions that really get me thinking like, you know, why don't you go videotape other people and ask them what they think leadership is? And why don't you, um, you know, poll some people and see what ideas about a houseboat might come up? And I think it's because what I'm trying to do is lead the best life I can. I want to go on a houseboat. I have ideas. I'm not clear on them yet either, so it's hard to express them. But this process is what I'm using to get clear on who I am as a leader not to figure out what everybody else is doing. And I'm so grateful for all the questions and comments and, you know, people say like, you know, the lovers and the haters and I'm a leader. I don't find haters. I find people who do things differently than I do. And I find the 1% in there that I love and I grow that. That's leadership. I don't have haters. In fact, I've probably been perceived as a hater more often when I'm, you know, not trying to be one. And I think about some of the videos I posted, I'm like, ooh, did people take that wrong? It was meant out of love. Um, and now all of a sudden I'm a hater and I didn't mean to be. Um, so I don't believe people are haters. I think people contribute because they care. And that's the kind of world I want to live in. And so even if someone means to be a hater, I'm probably not taking it that way. That's my optimism showing. Sorry. Uh, glass half full. So um, thank you so much for caring about this journey, for giving me input. Um, but it is ultimately my journey to take and I don't want to turn the camera on other people um, not for the first hundred days maybe after the hundred days are over and I have a clue um, which may or may never happen during the hundred days but in the meantime I'm going to keep being the best superhero self I can in my Wonder Woman gear and inviting other people to tap into their inner superheroes too because I think we all have them and we get told that it's not okay to let them out that we need to be a certain way or do a certain thing or look just like everybody else. And at the risk of alienating people and pissing you off, I would like to say, fuck that, okay? Be as awesome as you can be and I will be here ready to play with you because I'm trying to be the most awesome I can be. That's all I know how to do. So that's it for today. Hope you go out and have a wonderful day and find lots of inspiration all throughout the world. Take care and I'll talk to you again soon.